Hey everybody, this is Benjamin at the English of Everything and today I'm going to give you your first drum lesson because uh, some of you out there are drummers, there's quite a lot of musicians and there's a lot of you out there I know who've never played the drums and it's a very very worthwhile activity, it's very fun to do, it's very good exercise and you get to take some frustration out on the drums. So I'm going to give you the first lesson and we're going to start from the very basics and I'm going to have another video later where I'm explaining some more technical things but for now we're just starting with the basics. So we're going to start with the vocabulary and this is called a drumstick and it's made of wood and it's long and it's thin and it has a small ball on the end and this is a drumstick and this is used for hitting the drum. You hold it in your hand and you hit the drum. Okay. You have two drumsticks because you have two hands. Yeah. Uh, the first drum we come to is this drum, and it's a very loud drum. Sorry about the train outside, we're next to a train tracks. So this is our practice room, and uh, we just finished practicing, which is why I'm hot and sweaty. But uh, yeah, we'll start with the snare drum. And this is the loudest drum, and it sounds like this. It's very loud, and it has a skin on the top, and it has a shell all the way around, and this is called a rim. And when you hit the drum, you hit the rim, so, and it makes it louder, so. So, your first drum lesson is to take the two sticks and just... So one, two, one, two, <laughs> beer bottles and pizza falling everywhere. Uh, one, two, and then just practice this for a long time, because when you can do this, you can do many other things. So. And try and keep it in the same rhythm. Okay, you have the snare drum. Next you have something called a hi-hat. And this is uh, a cymbal, and there's two cymbals together. It's called a hi-hat. And you open and close the hi-hat with your foot. Down here, if you press the foot, the hi-hat opens. And here you have something called a clutch, which you loosen and tighten. So if you loosen it, you can open it. And if you tighten it, you can close it. This good? <laughs> Bob's laughing, it's great. Okay, this drum here is called a rack tom, because sometimes people have a rack of toms across the top here, and it sounds like this. This one sounds bad, but it sounds like this. And this one is also called a tom, it's a floor tom, and it's a very big tom. Again, they both have skins on the top, and they have rims, and this is a floor tom, so it's high, low. So once you know... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, uh, these three things here are called symbols. And they're large pieces of metal, they are circular, uh, they have an edge around the edge, and they have a bell in the middle. And they make very loud, very high noises. So if you hit the bell with the stick, it's very loud. And the same for these, but different pitches or different tones. Okay. So you have cymbals, you have snare drum, rack tom, floor tom, and the big one down here is called a kick drum, or some people call it a bass drum, and you use your foot and you kick the drum. So if we get the camera over here. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so you have the bass drum here. So we're going to play our first beat. And if you know one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you have to try And this is called a basic beat. And you must keep the tempo, and the tempo is the same speed. Okay. Uh, this is it, everything for now. I'll do a later video with more advanced things and I'll teach you about drum rolls. I'll teach you about different rhythms, different playing techniques. So for now, this is everything. Goodbye, and I'll speak to you in the next lesson. Okay.